Hi guys, Tivik here, and welcome to episode 5 of Minecraft Season 3. So, as I said in the last episode, I would go hunting for uh, silver and lead, and I've done that. And I would also do a little bit more uh, construction and moving all my stuff over here. Um, but before I start working on this room today, I want to show you my latest little project. Um, I opened up a new door in this side because this is my new courtyard and as you might see on the minimap Let me just zoom it. There we go. There is a large building to the northeast. Yes, that is my new home and I built this and it's uh, as you may see taking a few days. We're on day 78 and I was like 37 something on uh, on um, the previous episode I've been building this and uh, doing a lot of stuff. I've also enchanted my pickaxe, and I'll show you that part in a minute. Um, but this here is uh, my new home. I have a bathtub, I suppose, with a waterfall, with some flowing water that comes down there. I have a living room that isn't finished yet. This here needs to be fixed. <laughs> I suppose. Yeah. I did have my um, enchanting room over in the in the cave over there, straight ahead where I put the uh, enchanting table from the start, and that's where I enchanted my stuff, but uh, I built a room specifically for it here. So here we go. It's an enchanting room, and it's working nicely. Indeed. And we can make... no, we can't enchant a stone hole. And I made myself a bedroom. There will be some more stuff. Furniture, I'm planning on making sort of a sofa, something in there, and maybe a bookshelf or something. But that's for a future pro uh, project. I'm not really going to do that now. Um, so let me just dash down here. This area isn't entirely secure yet, but should be fairly safe. I'm also low on cows, I need to breed them, but not a priority. Also, I prepared the sorting room here. Uh, these are all the new frames that you can put. So you can put items in there to show what's in the frame. So for instance, if I pick up, uh, if I place that, it will show meat. I can rotate it as well. Okay, let's replace these. I can put pretty much anything. If I put a uh, diamond pickaxe, I do hope I get it back as it was. Yes. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if that would work. Um, these here chests. I am going to dig out the area below because there will be logistics chassis going in there. And that's a total of 21 chests and I think I will be able to uh, balance my chests to that. I might have to increase one of the two of these two iron chests. Um, the pipes will go under here, of course, under the floor and into this building where some of the automatic process will go. There will also be some power conduits over to the other side and uh, I will have my charging bench in that room. Oh yeah, you got a glimpse of my resource chest. Let me show you that again. Yes, I do have a stack and 43 diamonds. This fortune 3 pickaxe, whew, that's insane, I tell you. Um, also, lapis, lapis and lapis. Um, we also have a fair amount of redstone and some smelted up materials, so that's very nice. So... Let's see, did I have anything in the mas macerator? No. I made electrolyzed water cells because I need to make a uh, uh, centrifuge, extract centrifuge extractor and uh, I will also make the singularity compressor because I think it's a good thing to have. So, let me just show you how this room turned out. It's quite empty now, isn't it? Yes. So, I... I'm gonna show you when I enchanted my pickaxe. So, once upon a time... Alright, 30 levels. 
Let's do this. I got a level 30 enchant. Give me something good, alright? Unbreaking 3 and Fortune 3. That's pretty good, actually. Nice. And I got 6 levels to go. I should probably just get a single, simple sword or something, but I'll save the levels. Uh, it took me a while. These are 16 bookcases. And uh, the one up in the corner there is empty. But yeah, got a nice little pickaxe. I want to go down to the mines and find my little diamond deposit. Let me just charge this up real quick. And I'll meet you once I'm down by the diamonds. Alright. And uh, here I am with a couple of diamonds floating in the air. These are four blocks, so let's uh, cut them and check and see which one is that. That's the digger, that's the miner. I want to switch this one off. There we go. Ready? Here we go. That was one. That was three. Nice. That was one. And that was... Wow. That was four of them. So I got nine diamonds out of four blocks. That's very nice. I think I left another pair of diamonds in the wall over here. I think. Also, fortune does not work on a lot of other things, but... Hmm, I think I left some in the wall over here. Was it this? That's... No, that's my silver mine, by the way. It's enormous. Okay, let's see... There they are. Oh, creeper. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. And gone. And there is a skeleton sneaking up on me. Come here. Ow. Okay, so. Diamonds it is. That's three blocks. I have nine. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, yeah. Back to the episode. Alright, so that is what I did to enchant my pickaxe. And uh, these here halls are extremely rich in gold. And when I say extremely rich, I'm gonna show you how insanely rich they are. Look at that. It's gold in the wall, gold in the wall. And if I go up here, this is like insane. And this is a bit of an artifact with the um, uh, custom ore generation. <laughs> Some of the uh, different uh, ores have kind of over-generated, but um, I'll just say it like this. I could play with normal ore generation and spend more time digging and uh, stuff, or I could spend more time having fun and building stuff with you guys. It's um, quite an easy choice for me. <laughs> I want to have fun, I want to build with you, and this is a sandbox game, so... yeah. Um, that's for the same reason which uh, why I will uh, uh, sheet in the Mistcraft book. Oh yeah! Uh, as you might see, I have made myself a couple of tools. The electric tree tap, for instance. I really wanted this one. Um, save sun tree taps when I run around. It does use up a little bit of energy, but... Um, right. What was I planning to do? Yes, uh, there is one thing that I need to do. Uh, I already prepared it a bit in here. But as you might see, I have a transformer there, but this is a normal bat box. And I wanted to put in an MFE so that I have some more production of energy. And that's going to be very important later. So let me just get ready to craft that. And actually, I'm going to go sleep and then be ready to craft that. So I will see you guys in a little bit.
All right, was just taking a look at my power output here. Got five low voltage solar arrays. I think that will do for a while, but at some point that's not going to be enough. So, for that little machine that we're going to build now, we need four of those. Uh, I'm not sure how many of these. So I will just... Yeah, that's the one. And uh, I can put that back. We also need a bunch of redstone and four diamonds. And... Uh, Let's see again. That's the one I was looking for. That's the one. And that's the one. So we need a machine block as well. Oh, it's good that I have enough of that. That's one machine block. And we might as well just do this. Four. I've always found that recipe bit rough, but there we go, in the corners, and we move all our energy crystals in, and we got the MFE. Awesome. Now, question is, did I hook this up correctly? We will very soon see. Nope. Oh, of course. Um, that cable can't take the take the heat, so to say. Um, I need to make some uh, fiber glass fiber cablings, and we have silver, so I can make the cheaper version. Very nice. Did I cook any silver yet? No, silver ore. I have two stacks and a little, little, little bit extra. Let's uh, macerate up these. That's going to be a bunch of cables. I'm not going to make that many, but um, we're going to have to eventually, but a little bit more. There we go. Ten. And this one is still connected to that one since it's the same basically. Um, I'm gonna treat myself to five sets since that will last me for a very long time, I hope. Um, let's see, I think we can take away half of these. That's 30. I could have probably counted that, but, <laughs> you know, lazy. I also do need to do some more enchanting. I'm not really sure what I want to enchant, though. There we go. 30 fiber cables. That's one. And nothing blew up. And this one is charging nicely. That one is two. And uh, we're already up 10%. That's very nice. Is this faster now? I don't know. Um, so, we should set the threshold to 30... 30%, 40%. So that if it's uh, over 40%, this one will charge. But if it's below 40, it will not. See? It's now not charging until this one is at least at 40%. Which will take a while, but yeah, you get the point. Okay. Um, extractor and compressor. I already made advanced machine blocks. And I do have an extra bat box now. I could probably use that one to make... Oh yes, I'm going to make an electric jetpack. You know I love that one. So let's make the... Extractor. Oh, come on. I'm going to replace the cabling down here, I think. 
This is smart moving, by the way. At its finest. And put the extractor there, and we craft the centrifuge extractor. It's spinning up. How are we holding? Oh, it's making energy. I don't know how fast it needs to go. I don't know. And the compressor. That uh, is going to need a little bit of obsidian. I think it's something like this. For still lossless. Singularity compressor. That one is firing up, but it hasn't got power, so... There we go. That's going to be interesting once we start compressing stuff. Cool! So I got these two machines. I might have to move this around a bit later, but, you know. Um, also, these two can be nice fiber cables so we don't lose any energy. Also, that way I could place the charging bench up a bit, but, you know. Okay, let's uh, dump this stuff away in the chests. Silver dust. Let's check it that. I'm liking the speed it's picking up. And I don't really need to put that away, but I can do that. This chest will be gone soon, but I just need something. I can put that there, in the bucket, in the bat box I don't really need. What we're going to need, though, is to make logistics chassis and we're gonna need mark two ones so it's logistic pipes which is gold gears and diamond transport pipes and we all know these I'm gonna need a total oh, I'm gonna need a lot I'm gonna spend about 10 20 diamonds something but I have plenty so I'm not really worried let's uh, smelt up some glass I'm curious as to how fast this one will squeeze and this one will extract. So let me just run over here to get some of this. They do respawn very quickly. These. Oh, there's one up there. So I've had a couple of creeper incidents, like this one here, and this one, which is actually the reason why I've built a tunnel down here, is that I found uh, ore, and I found um, uranium, and this is down in the mines, so... <laughs> oh, dear lord. Did I bring anything to get myself back up? No. Oh well. It's a good thing I have a drill. Oops. There we go. Uh, yeah, so I found redstone here, which is quite nice. And uh, finding redstone isn't easy, since it's just one wide pillar of stone. But I'll keep looking. Let's test. It's up to four that's fairly quick I must say do I need to turn this one off don't think so if they explode I'm going to be very sad um, that's diamond transport pipes probably won't have the gold to make all these but 
that's 32 transport pipes. Um, for a basic logistics pipe, I will need more glass and some golden gears or ship sets. Suppose I could start that part before. Decisions, decisions. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. Um, will that one blow up if I hook up this? No, it won't even connect. That's very nice. Um, I am going to build an engine. I'm going to build a fast electric engine, which needs advanced alloys, some circuits, and combustion engines. And I'm going to build two of these. They produce a lot of energy. Well, I'm actually going to start with one. So let's start with advanced alloy. And we know these. Bronze, iron, and tin. And bronze is... Like that. Oops. We need tin and three iron, but that's going to be the refined stuff. So let's cook up the iron. That's mixed metal, and this one is really high pressure. Wow. That's very nice. Uh, we also need electric circuits. So I'm going to need one more of those. Um, yeah, I was cooking that. No, that one. And I'm going to need four redstone um, for these. How many of these do I have? I don't have enough. Lacking two, of course. I'm loving the pocket crafting table, by the way. It can be a bit messy to work with it sometimes, but it's good. Um, okay, two combustion engines. And that's pistons. Shouldn't be too much a problem. That's... Uh, I'm gonna make a double set. Um... <coughs> two pistons and uh, iron gears so I'm gonna need 16 iron a whole bunch of sticks well like that and some stone Oh, that's stupid of me. It's balance I wanted. That's two pistons to those, and uh, they need iron. So that's uh, like that. Two combustion engines. And we needed some bat batteries. And we need three, so I'm going to need to put some tin like that and that and we have ourselves our batteries awesome so fast electric engine now this one can drain my poor MFE very quickly but that'll be fine we can switch it on and off easily and uh, work on stuff. We can use gates and stuff to turn it off actually. That's interesting. I'm gonna sleep through the night here and run down and find a good place to build these things. So see you there. Alright, so I've been thinking a little bit and I think we're gonna put it down in this corner. Um, I'm gonna have to find a good way to send the power over here, although I could just send it all across the ceiling. Um, that doesn't really make sense, does it? But I think I'll do it anyway. 
Um, I'm not sure if that will be a loop. I don't like it, so... I will send it up in the ceiling. The only thing with this is that I need to have some sort of... Um, some sort of way to make... put pipes on these guys. I will place that one Oh, he lost a lot of energy. Hmm. That's not good. Not good at all. Spinning up again? Yep. 75,000. That's a lot of pressure. Um... I can actually do it like this. Gonna need to make a wrench. So that's an iron... I think it's a stone gear. With iron around? Yes. And we are going to need gold. Um, first, I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna make a stack of gold transport pipes, and that's gonna need a full stack of redstone. But then I will have enough of this to last me for a while. Uh, this one needs. Also, a wooden transport pipe, of course. I'm just gonna make a single one of those for now, since I don't really need it. Um, there we go. There is a bit of a graphics bug when this one is switched off. But that's fine. Okay, so I can place the thermionic fabricator there, and I could place a carpenter here. I suppose, and uh, some other stuff. So... Yeah... Let's uh, start with the thermionic fabricator. Where is it? The thermionic fabricator. We need a sturdy casing, gold ingots, and chest. And this is bronze, so I can do that. I already have one. I'm gonna need more chests here. I really need to get my sorting system running, actually. But... I don't want to make this first. And for the carpenter, I will also need a sturdy casing. Yes, and some more bronze. So we might as well just... make a whole bunch of it. So... That's two sturdy casings, and we're gonna need even more bronze. There we go. So, what was I making first? The thermionic. So that's two gold, th four gold, one in each corner. A chest. Do I have a spare chest? Yes. Glass. And a sturdy casing. That's the thermionic fabricator. This one is a manual machine that I will use. Um, also, we're gonna need a carpenter to make some cool stuff. That's bronze around like that. And glass. This one will need water. I don't think I have any waterproof pipes yet. Um, let's see. Beeswax. That's the only thing I can make it off. Yeah. Okay, so I need to find some cacti. Uh, the thermionic fabricator and the carpenter needs to be hooked up. Like that. Now they will work. 
And uh, this is a bit of a long distance, but should be fine, I think. We'll craft an EU reader later. Um, in addition to this, I will want to make a assembly table. It's a diamond, a diamond gear, and six obsidian. Do I even have that much obsidian? Yes. So we start with the gears. Um, that's one diamond gear. I think there's another table, the advanced crafting table. I haven't seen that one, so we're going to have to make that later. Um, so, a diamond gear. Let's go all the steps for a diamond gear. First a wood, then a stone, then a, an iron, then a gold, then a diamond gear. Together with that, six of these, and an assembly table. Now would I want to put this? Can I put that on there? Yes, I can. Um, I want to have three lasers. Maybe even four. We'll see. Um, so I'll put that table there. Laser. Man, these need obsidian. How much did I have? Okay, so the recipe is something like that. Two diamonds and then redstone around. They're pretty expensive, but it's a one-time cost, so I'm fine with that. Let's make four to start. Can I place it there? We still see that. I don't think so. Um, see. I hope this will work. I might have to move this table out. Let's craft two more of these lasers. Just because they... Oh, I only have for one more. Okay, well... That'll do for now. Uh, that will do. Um, that is all I need. Now I just need to put in a switch so that I can start that machine. We do need to have a, an output chest. Don't worry guys, I'll automate everything in here at some point. That looks cool. The thermionic fabricator will need a lot of sand. Um, what happens if I put that in... Yeah, that's cobblestone. That way we can go back to cobblestone so we can make sand. We have night time again. So let me go sleep and I'll be right back. And unfortunately that's going to be the end of this episode because I see that we're way over time. But um, join me next time because then I will have expanded my energy a little bit more. I'm going to build one more of these. Um, and I will have this system ready to run. Um, I'll actually craft the lever to get this working. Yeah, it starts up immediately. And it heats up pretty good. These shouldn't be taking energy because this one hasn't got a job yet. 
There we go, we have glass. That's awesome. How is the TPS working? Hmm, that's nice. So, yeah. Um, in the next episode, we're going to play a little bit with thermal expansion, because for the carpenter, I need a water supply. And I am going to use the aqueous accumulator. It's not a too complicated recipe. A bucket, some glass, tin, a pneumatic servo, and a machine frame. But this one is a nice little beauty of a machine. So, yeah, definitely going to be using that one. How are we doing for energy, by the way? So you can see we are slowly dropping, which is why I need that next. Let's switch it off. Sand is a very cheap commodity. Um, so we can, well, glasses. So we can make a lot more of that. So that's the end of this episode, guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.